Have we been shifting goalposts? Uh, first, uh, <coughs> let me say, Trevor, no, we have not been shifting goalposts. Uh, and I want to take great exception to what Halwale has said here. You will remember that both teams have uh, seven members. It is not possible that myself and uh, Honorable Lekina can override the other five people and uh, essentially declare stalemates without concurrence of our, our colleagues. We would be in the minority. And uh, one of the things that we have said from the onset is that there was no goodwill from uh, uh, the Kenya Kwanzaa side. And you can see it displayed even in some of the things, the words that Halwale is using. Personally, and I wish our media cameras would be allowed going forward into these negotiations, because I think I am at my nicest in those talks, because I understand that this is a dialogue. What Halwale is saying, and Halwale has made it, uh, you know, uh, his, his style, to tell open lies, even what he has done here on TV. There has never been a moment where me or Honorable Lekina have stalled discussions, that, uh, stopped, uh, stormed out. We always listen to each other and we try to persuade uh, this gentleman. We saw the lack of good faith from the beginning. You will remember that even when we had said what our four issues were, and I want to remind the country so that Halwale does not lie to you that we are introducing new things. We said we wanted to address the cost of living. We wanted steps to be taken to reduce the cost of Unga. That was said from the beginning at the rally in Jivanji. You were there as media houses. Number two, we said we would want an audit of the 2022 presidential elections. We wanted an audit of the servers. Are we together, Trevor? Yes. That was not a matter that came up yesterday. It was said at Jivanji at the inception of this particular process. We said we want a respect of multi-party democracy, non-interference in the workings, internal workings of other political parties. This question of poaching members of parliament from other political parties, it was an issue from inception at Jivanji. We said we would like reconstitution of IABC in a bipartisan manner. Those were four issues, Trevor. From the beginning, I think it was in, was it uh, February? And this, all these things are on record. I want Halwale to tell me which new issue we have introduced. When we go into the room, the first issue, uh, the first point of departure, the, the first indication of bad faith, we have said that we would like to discuss fidelity to political parties and an interference. This issue of buying members of parliament from other political parties. Then they name Honorable Kainan in their own team, <laughs> the negotiation. The first break that we had, the first suspension of the talks, was because of the presence of Honorable Kainan. We didn't even understand why we we'd have to explain this thing to them. But we had to suspend the talks until Honorable Kainan was withdrawn. That was not Sifuna. It was a position that was taken by the coalition itself. In fact, Trevor, there have been two suspensions of these talks. The first one was as a direct result of a position taken by my coalition on the presence of Kainan in those talks. This recent one was ours as the negotiators of Azimio. And we went yesterday to our principals to explain to them, and I want to try and repeat it here, why we had to suspend the talks. When we are discussing, we told Honorable Halwale that first of all, we, we in Azimio, uh, Trevor, we have bent over backwards to, pre, pro, to protect our colleagues in these particular talks, because these guys are, are unprepared, they always come late for meetings. They miss meetings. And when they come, like on the day when we were uh, supposed to table issues, everybody brings their own issues. We had our issues ready and prepared to table. These guys had not even thought about it. And they said, oh, Sifuna, if you go to the media and tell them that we were ready to table and you guys were not ready, we will look bad. That day, we agreed with them to protect them, and we were not going to table issues. In fact, we came out and told the media that we are postponing the tabling of issues to allow these guys to come up with issues. Then they table their own issues. When they table their own issues, the question of IABC was a common issue. They tabled it. They said, oh, they would want this question of mandamano to be addressed. So we sit down and we say, just like we do in court, and uh, the good thing is that many members on that uh, panel are actually lawyers. We said, if we have a dispute, an auctioneer wants to sell your house, you, between you and me, we are both claiming the house. The first thing the court does is to say, before the dispute is resolved, let nobody sell the house. Let's preserve the house. We said, because we have made an issue on the audit of the server, can we make an interim pronouncement as a committee 
that whoever has the servers, because the IEBC is not just the commissioners, there is a secretariat there. They are running things, they are preserving even the electoral materials, the ballot papers. The law requires that the commission stores them for, I think, six years. So now that we don't have commissioners, who is storing them? Are they being thrown out on the, on the streets because there are no commissioners? No. There is somebody at the IBC who's responsible for storage of the election material. And that includes Trevor, the servers. All we wanted our colleagues to accede to is to say, as we wait to audit the servers, because it is a process, we have to agree on how it's going to be done, who's going to supervise it, are we going to use experts, or is it me and Halwale going into the server room? You understand? Before we get there, can we have a preservatory measure to say, let the servers be maintained in the state in which they were as at of 9th of August 2022. How difficult is that? How unreasonable is that? Number two, we've said we want to look at amending the law on the, co on the, on the selection panel of IEBC yeah. so that it can be more bipartisan. And we say, as an interim measure, before we get to those discussions, can we at least put a freeze on the ongoing uh, process of recruitment of those commissioners, so that we are not speaking in vain. And they also tabled some interim measures that they wanted to see. They asked us, and if I'm wrong, he's yet to correct me. He said, according to them, they want us to make a commitment that there will be no mandamano for as long as the talks are going on. Halwale, I can hold a Bible here. You know, I think you should start giving us oaths on this program. <laughs> and say that in the name of God, we, Nazimio, said we will accede to that request on a commitment not to go to Mandamano for as long as these talks are going on. They themselves said, as an interim measure, they want us to stay away from pronouncements that undermine the talks before God and before Kenyans. We in Azimio said we were ready to do that. Then we asked them, which one of our interim measures are you prepared to take? Then we told them, we have had the, uh, William Ruto saying that uh, the price of maize flour is below 160 and that it is going to go to a certain level. We told them, you, you, we feel you are lying to Kenyans. Where, Halwale, can we get this maze of 150 so that I can go and tell the people that, yes, we can see a commitment to reducing the cost of living. Trevor, out of all the interim measures this gentleman said yesterday, the, the day before, that they cannot accede to any of them. So in light of that, we ask ourselves, what are we doing? What are we discussing? If we will come to open the server and we find the server had been interfered with, then we would have acted in vain. If we come to discuss the reconstitution of IBC, and there are already commissioners who, once they take the Bible, are going to be there for six years, then what are we doing? In my own observation, first of all, Halwale, we have great respect for all the colleagues on, on that panel. But we feel that there are multiple teams in your team. We feel that there are people who are committed to actually having a dialogue. And there are people who are there with specific instructions, I don't know from which quarters, to ensure that those uh, talks don't proceed. In fact, the only progress we have seen is when Chair Murugara has been absent. And I can say this without fear of contradiction. He is one of the people we consider to be a problem. We are not going to dictate to you who you bring to the table. But we are saying we can tell, we can see who is interested in having a conversation. And we said as Sifuna, personally, and I know Honorable Olekina, I know Honorable Mili Odiambo, I know my brother, uh, or my sister, uh, Daddy, uh, Amina Mnyazi. These are not people who are known to be lying to the public. I have a reputation, Trevor. I cannot continue to lie to the people of Kenya that something is happening in this room, yet all we do there is to eat tea and mandazi. I can tell you without fear again that these guys, in, even in the absence of that good faith and the, 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 the appearance that they are taking instructions from different quarters, they actually don't have complete mandate to negotiate on behalf of Kenya Kwanzaa. And we can tell, because simple decisions, they are, they are saying that we go to consult. They are the ones who are always asking to a break for, to consult. If, if, yesterday, if, if it was them who had the option of calling off the talks without reference to their principles, they would not have done it. Because for us, we know our principles. Our principles can be persuaded. We come and lay out a case for them as to why we did a certain thing, and they will agree with us the way they agreed with us yesterday. Okay. These guys live in fear. Even if we were to say, in these talks, we are going to change the supplier of juice, these guys have to call their principles. They can't make that decision. They don't have the capacity. All right.